train crews 120 kilometers along the coast of Western Honshu on the Sain Line through Yamaguchi Prefecture. So this is guiding you down this way. Oh, look at that. Wow. That is extremely picturesque. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. The earth emits great energy. Fear of its power gave rise to a way of life that respected nature. Small trains take us on a journey imbued with prayer along a coastline blessed with stunning scenery. I'm in Mojiko, which is in the city of Kitakyushu in Fukuoka Prefecture in the southern island of Kyushu. Now this is a port town with about a hundred years of history and a very interesting East meets West vibe about it. And my journey starts here. And this is the station. Gosh, look at that. Isn't that a wonderful building? Oh, it's very royal, very imposing, very regal feeling. The Mojiko Station building, constructed in 1914, is one of only two stations in Japan that are designated important cultural properties. Wow, beautiful wood finish to the windows here, formerly where you buy the tickets, but still very kind of time slippy and uh, retro. I love this wooden panelling, this is very, very nice. This photo shows Mojiko Station a century ago when it was completed. The wooden structure deteriorated over time, so major renovations were conducted replacing and reinforcing worn sections to restore the station to its former glory. This is not a typical station. This is absolutely anywhere in the world. Look at this room. Look at that. In days of old, the room was used by dignitaries awaiting their transportation. It's 
So when I walked in to this room, I felt different immediately. Actually walking into the station, you feel different. This is a beautiful room. <laughs> Nice, big, chunky, wrought iron train. Okay, here we go. I'll take a seat right here. Now, I don't know what to expect, but I think the view is going to be really, really cool. From Mojiko here on Kyushu, we head to the main island of Honshu. The train travels beneath the strait through the Kanmon Tunnel, the world's first undersea tunnel. Shimonoseki. Okay, I've come through the tunnel from the southern island and Kitakyushu to the central island, and this is Shimonoseki. Now, you wouldn't know from where I'm standing right now, but this is a famous fishing town. And I'm going to go now and taste some of the local delicacies. There's a great place to go. So let's go. I've just come in now to the marketplace here, and I, I can hear all the action is just over here. But before we get there, look at this. Now, I believe that is a blowfish. So I'm expecting this area is famous for blowfish, but let's go and uh, just confirm that for sure. Oh! There he is, that's the blowfish. This is uni, this is sea urchin. Absolutely spectacular, look at this. Look at that. This is a specialist for fugu, specialist for blowfish, and just look at this plate here. Look at that. Torafuku, isn't that gorgeous presentation? This fugu was caught in Shimonoseki. Fugu can be chewy, so for sashimi, it's sliced so thin you can see right through it. Nicely sliced. Let's pop it in the sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. So, oh yeah, very good. I oh, love, love the sauce. A super thin piece of fish. It has a strong flavor, but not overpowering. And the combination with the citrus flavor sauce is really, really good. Mm. And it's gone. Delicious. That's beautiful. Saiko desu. Very, very good. Of course, there's much more seafood on offer here. Oh, so is your name. Look, I don't even know how to do it. It's so big. Itadakimasu. Sorry if this looks really dirty. Mmm! 
The most delicious, but I recommend two bites, not one. Nico me tabe the whole thing in the pants was sweet. Sai kores. Mucha gusto hoy sí des. With sated stomach, I look to the next destination to satisfy my soul. It's another big raw iron train here, but as you can see, just one carriage for this massive, massive long platform. <laughs> oh, lovely, look at that, we're right by the sea. So I've just arrived here at the very quaint Kogoshi station. I can see 30 meters away from me the beautiful sea. I can see islands in the distance and it looks wonderful, but I'm not going there yet. Before I go there, I'm going to go to a very spiritual place. So I've come up the mountain here flanked by bamboo to my right here, not expecting to necessarily find anything in particular, but this is the entrance to the shrine, Kusu no Mori Shrine. Look at this. So in front of me is a, what looks like a very old tree. This is an astonishing looking tree. What's for sure is it's absolutely spectacular. I can feel the power. This camphor tree is 1,000 years old. The locals believe spirits dwell within it. Thank you very much. なんで森って言うんですか川棚のクスの森と言います。クスの森。クスの森。森。なんで森って言うんですか。え、これはですね、現在はまあ葉っぱが落ちてしまってるんですけれども、2年前までは葉っぱがですね、ものすごく茂
いきなり変わってど,どんな気持ちだったんですかもうびっくりしたですしねまさかこんなことがっていうですね、えー、そういう感じですね、まあ、地元のですね、まあ、あの中心にありまして昔から先祖代々ですねこの木を大切にし周辺を整備しながらですね守っておりますこれ地元のもうみんなここらの宝物ですねもう一番のもう宝物ですここに集まってあのみんなが話し合うこともできるしこの木が枯れてしまったらそれは何もなくなりますのでねあの今からも大切にこれは生かしていかないといけんなというふうに思っております One possible cause of this tragedy is thought to be a lack of oxygen in the soil. As a curative measure, hundreds of bamboo canes carry oxygen deep down into the ground. The effort has begun to produce positive results and signs of life. Other creatures seem just as delighted that the tree is recuperating. ここにいましたね。取れますか？ああ、わかります。はい。They are a variety of door snail that live off the tree's moisture. They have a powerful life force, so their shells have been prized as amulets, granting protection to travelers. いるってことはまずこの木は生きてますっていうそうですねもちろん水分がないと生きていけないわけですからまあこの木は生きてるとじゃあたくさんいつかたくさん葉っぱも欲しくながらこれもたくさんいてほしいってことですよねそうですね It's quite fascinating to think that this tree is a thousand years old it's survived it's struggled to live it's will to survive super strong life force this tree has すごいすごい。<笑>おお綺麗ですね。おお素晴らしい。おすすめなスポットありますか？おすすめなスポット。あスポットはもう、はい、あの鶴島大橋です。本当自然のね本当のあの橋と海のブルーがマッチしてね。誰でも感動する。<笑>
。ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございました。Tsunoshima is small, only 17 kilometers in circumference. Ah, and here it is as I round the corner. That's a lighthouse, that's the Tsunoshima lighthouse. Oh, it's very big actually. Wow. We are now on the east side of the island. Erected at the dawn of modernization in 1875, it has a conspicuously foreign appearance. Oh, super, super interesting. Okay, so it's not elevator, it's steps all the way up to the top. This is quite a thin, narrow walk we have here. We're circling around this central post here. I wonder how many steps this is going to be. <laughs> oh, I think we've reached the top now, the pinnacle. This is it. With a rope here for me to hold on to to do this properly. Here we go. Okay, coming up here, the sign said this is an 80 degree angle. 12 final steps if I reach the top. And this is my payoff. This is the view coming right up. Here we go. One more step. Ah,、oh, and there we are on top of the world. Look at that. And of course, this is a, a round lighthouse, so we can enjoy the view wrap around 360. So let's come around the corner here. The sea stretching around the island, and more sea over this side again. This is a perfect spot. To see any boats on the horizon at all. This lighthouse has watched over the seas for more than 140 years. Ah, yes, there's a gentleman. I can see his legs there. Let's go and talk to him. Oh, it's a really interesting experience. Oh, how do you last there? Yo, I'm just mad. Oh, it's so interesting. Do you know how long the距離まで光が行くんですか？これはだいたい水平線まで届くんですけど、三百キロぐらいですかね。三百キロぐらいですかね。へえ。なんか光合が届く範囲。あの水平線までが。はい。まで行くんですね。まああの水平線を越えたらもう見えるで。でそこにあの浅い線があるんですよ。よあの端にね。僕はあの何パーセント船がですね、はい、乗り上げるんですよ。それで外に下にありました照射灯で照らすの。外を回るように回るように。The nearby seas host swift currents due to the prevailing westerly winds. And there are many shallow waters, so navigating the area was treacherous and sinister before the lighthouse was built. じゃあとっても重要な役割です。え、そうです。だからポイントとしては、また漁業関係者もいろいろこの辺のねあれを使ってたと思うんです。相当いろんな船が出航してた起点にはなってたのだ。
Okay, I've just arrived at Hitomaru Station and I've just come from Tsunoshima Bridge, which was absolutely spectacular. I'm about to go somewhere even more amazing. So beautiful, in fact, that CNN voted it one of the most beautiful places in the whole of Japan. And this is a clue as to what I'm about to find. Let's go check it out. So I have arrived, just behind me that's the Sea of Japan and this is Motonosumi Shrine. This is the entrance to the shrine, a tori. Oh and as I come through the gate here, look at this. So this is guiding you down this way, oh look at that. Oh I wasn't expecting that. So we have a replica of this gate right here, tens and tens of red tori all the way down here to the shoreline. すごい綺麗な景色ですね。昭和 deities of the shrine are believed to bestow abundant halls, business prosperity and protection against accidents at sea. A total of 123 tori stand along the 100 meter path to the sea. This figure was deemed an auspicious number. And here and there the view is just spectacular. Just watch and feel this open up in front of you. これは何ですか?お地蔵さんになりまして、主に大量とか豊漁を祈願するお地蔵さんと、あとあの、海上安全を祈願するお地蔵さんがここに置いてあるようになります。Three Jizo statues stand on the bluff, facing in different directions. They are believed to watch over and protect fishermen and sailors. The seas along the Japan Sea coast are tempestuous in winter and fishing can be perilous. The local people have long been in awe of its intensity. They believe the deities directed the movement of the sea. So, they strive to live in harmony with the sea. Long ago, during dry spells, the locals performed rain rites here to the dragon deity. Nagatoshi Station, we change from the main line to a branch line.
Senzaki is a port town nearly surrounded by sea. Some residents once made their living traveling by train to hawk local seafood and locally produced seafood products. Walking around town, you'll see shops that evoke the lifestyles of yesteryear. There's a couple of uh, little shops here. One right here on the corner, this looks quite interesting. Don't know what they're selling. Something, something to do with the sea though. I actually can't read that. Oh, kama, kama boko, kama boko. Let's have a look inside here. Ah, oh, sumimasen. Arigatouzaimasu. Whoa. Konnichiwa. Wow. Kama boko no mise. Most kamaboko is made from frozen fish, but this business insists on using fresh. They halt production on days when there is no morning catch. うん。外国人の方が食べられるのどうかなと思って。うん。美味しいです。豆腐好きな方、もうちょっと硬いバージョンプラス香りがいいっていう風な。いつからやってるんですか？えっと創業が二十一年でしょ。もう約七十、え、
The sea stacks of Oomi Island are nicknamed the Marine Alps. See, it's almost turquoise color. You can see right down to the, the bottom of the ocean here. It's beautiful right here. The boat slowed down so we can enjoy it. Look at that. Ten minutes from the dock, and we come across this. The boat only goes inside on calm days. This is a pretty big boat, and it doesn't look like a massive space for us to go in here, but we're going inside. Check out the height of the roof here. We're right, right on the edge of being too high. We're perfectly fitting right now. You see the birds flying out as well? I can hear them. They're all flying in and out. Some grottos are too small for us to enter, so we change to a smaller boat. These caves are said to have been created by volcanic activity and wave erosion. People through the ages have found various ways to enjoy nature. There's an island here, I can see people fishing on it. Look at that. There are deities on the seas as well. at the very tip looks like somebody with a head bowed towards the sea and their hands together in prayer. So I should make a wish here because it will probably come true. Living in proximity to harsh conditions such as these, it would have been hard for people not to sense an omnipotent presence. It's 
see all the Japanese houses with the Japanese roofs here, very traditional style. They're all the same here, all of them. Very pretty. That's really nice. Hello. <laughs> Maybe one of those houses is his. I don't want this journey to end. I wish I could just gaze out at the sea forever. Looking at a map, I realize how far we've come up the coastline here. We've actually come a long way. I've taken some very cute trains, I've seen some beautiful landscape and scenery. Now often you visit power spots and you receive the energy, you receive the inspiration from them. And you appreciate the people who live in relation to those places. They work together, they have a symbiotic relationship. On this trip, I felt it was important for me to give back, give to those power spots. And that was a different experience for me. I think the world needs a little bit more of that, a little bit more giving back. And if you feel the same, I heartily recommend it to you.